Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and I'm here in front of my challenge map, the Tower of Enlightenment, built on Scotland. And I'm going to do a quick run through to show you guys just how the map works. Uh, some of you may have already seen it in Zach's video, but I think it would be good to do kind of just a little tour and show you the meaning behind some of the stuff in the map and just show it in full brightness with my uh, brightness setting all the way up so you don't have to. Uh, try to squint and see what's going on. So in here, this is where you start. It's the uh, the little igloo <laughs> that uh, you begin the map in. That little Sherpa escaped your snowman, snow golem buddy. But in this chest is your starting supplies. Uh, you have seven apples to, uh, to go off of for your food. You get a sword with sharpness, a bow, and 108 arrows. Uh, those reference the 108 volumes of the Kangur, or the, the Buddhist scripture. Yeah, also, there's 108 beads on the rosary of the Buddhist uh, monks, or they're called malas, too. You get golden armor, because there's kind of a gold emphasis in this uh, this map, and three ender pearls to use to get you out of a fix. Those represent the uh, past, present, and future Buddha. So we're going to leave the supplies here, but we're going to keep going. And I'll show you just how the map goes. All right, so you head over this hill. Usually there might be some creatures here because it's it's fairly dark a lot of the time when you would be doing this. If you start at night, which is typically when I think you should start, uh, that way you end the map in day. There's some lights here though to kind of keep cre creatures out. Right now, there uh, monsters aren't spawning on our server, so don't have to worry about that. Now here is the base of the Tower of Enlightenment. Right here, I'm gonna fly up. So just to show, it, give you a good look at this guy. He probably took the most work uh, to do. I, my favorite part is the flaming eyes, but I tried to make him look uh, fairly accurate to some of the Buddhist uh, sculptures that I've seen around the world. But doing the hands and everything that was kind of tough. I had a little help from Melissa, aka Sickness, on the server. So that was definitely. Uh, good to get help me finish this thing. I basically had built the head and then uh, by the time the 400 map download was coming out I decided that I needed to finish so I had to rush and do the rest and she was a big help. So you climb up here. While you're going you can actually like look out the windows here and just kind of see the uh, the land as you go. Sorry with, with creative on you, you fly really uh, oddly on ladders. But yeah you can look out at the landscape. Hopefully this isn't too choppy. I'm in normal view distance so you can see this. So you get up to the top, and here's the Buddha's head. And you are asked, speak the truth, are you a good person? Now you can click yes, and the way to do that is to just flip this switch a few times. And uh, hopefully we'll get one down here. There we go. So we've got a golden apple. Uh, that's the easy way out, basically. And it's, if you, I mean, I'm not going to do any statements here and say that everyone isn't a good person or something, but that's just the, that's kind of the easy way and the map would end right there if you're satisfied with that. But if you want to be brave and click no, you can see that this ground down here is a little different, so we're going to click no and see what happens. And then we fall, bam, straight down to hell. <laughs> So it's not too dark down here because it's still daylight right now, but you can see we've fallen all the way down to the Buddha's feet down here. And then uh, if you fly up, you can see that fall was one of my favorite parts too, the, the fire kind of. You shift from the sandstone aesthetic of the tower to the nether rack aesthetic of the kind of underworld here. And you can see there's soul sand to slow you down, and that's a big part of this map because monsters will spawn in here a lot because it's not very bright and there's only a few like redstone torches on the side to give you a little light to see. Uh, Zach got tied up on these. The toenails of the statue are pressure plates but that was basically just put there as to be aesthetic you know just to kind of give it a good look but also I put a lot of things in here to trip people up because they might think that in a normal adventure map maybe there would be something hidden here to activate something but a lot of this is to kind of stray you off the path and to get you a little bit like uh, put off of uh, ease you know because you you're not knowing what if any of these could like 
could trigger an explosion. I mean, you never know. You want to you got to be careful while you're doing this or else you could meet instant death. So we're going to keep going here. This ended up kind of looking like a creeper's face. So we're going to turn creative mode off actually because I want to give you the full like particles of the void effect and everything. But yeah, basically you need to keep on the straight and narrow here or you're not going to survive through. Now as soon as you you can see when I push this it lights it up but then you get a glimpse of what's ahead but then as soon as it closes you get the void fog so you got to be careful. And I have my brightness all the way up but you can so you can see it a little better but with the void fog it makes it creepy. But this is pretty much filled with monsters typically. There's very little light source here. Uh, I'm going to go back into game mode really quick just so we can get a good look here. Now the void fog's gone, but this is the demon's head. Uh, I built this myself except sickness. Melissa helped me with the horns. I couldn't get those right. Uh, and she helped me figure those out. But he's got hands coming out of the ground here, which Brett thought was a, be a bench, but they're supposed to be hands coming out of the ground. And I just wanted to make it very menacing so that when you try to head forward, you're a little put off of your game even more, you know, with all the monsters around. And Obviously, there's soul sand, so you're going to have a hard time fighting it off. You have to be fairly good at combat and use those arrows that I gave you to keep going unless you get lucky. And if a creeper comes in here, you got to be very careful. Now, we're going to put game mode back off. But this is the part that Zach got lucky on because there's a trap here at this chest. So if you head up here, this is the chest here with the goal that you're trying to get. There's a diamond block and a bunch of kind of... Uh, macabre imagery with the bones and the <laughs> and the red dye to kind of look like blood but if you head up here and try to get to the chest this pressure plate should trigger uh, something yep there we go <laughs> got a nice explosion there that blows up a big chunk of the map I added a second TNT because originally there was one and it would blow that up and you wouldn't really get too much damage but the second one actually blows the chest up and you see all that stuff pop out. So if you die from that, it will look really cool, I think, because of the bones and, and all that popping out. So yeah, if you survive that, then you can uh, keep going. Let's see if I... and my health isn't bad. Okay, so we're going to head over here. And I'm going to actually switch back into normal mode for this because I'm going to try to do this on my own this part here. So I added this when the update hit because originally uh, there was supposed to be more of this trial here at the end, but the way that dispensers worked, I couldn't shoot out mob eggs, so I didn't get to do what I wanted, but now I can. So if we can jump up here, oh, I might just have to build a block because it's uh, not doing what I want. There we go. So this is the final trial room. I can turn game mode on one more time just to show you. That's the light that we're going for at the end of the tunnel there is a uh, another bit of that dichotomy between the uh, sandstone of the tower and the redstone or the nether rack and the nether brick of hell so you want to head towards that because you're trying to obviously get back to the surface and back up to to heaven so we're going to go back into survival and let's see if I can make this gauntlet run so right here is what I wanted to add and I just added it for the map now it's not on the 400 download but as you head through here, uh, you will trigger this, and zombies will start coming out. And you can try to fight them off and run around them, but you're just going to trigger more zombies, and you're going to start to die, so you need to run. There's lava up on the top here dripping, which is creepy, and it's going to put you off your game because you, there might be a trap with lava. That's what happened to Zach. But you get to the end here, and we're going to turn game mode on real quick. Okay. I just wanted to show how, as you get closer, this kind of... Uh, sunburst effect just kind of spreads out and you, you just kind of get a burst of of the uh, the sun uh, the sandstone as you're trying to get through here anyways these zombies are gonna keep attacking me as I beat them with signs but yeah this this is just basically set up with dispensers so that when you trigger some it'll keep having them step on them typically and they'll trigger more until you get a whole flood of zombies coming out at you hopefully but yeah, if you're fast, you probably will only get a few after you, and you can get through here. So yeah, as you run, it's basically supposed to be like the zombies are all the uh, the damned souls in hell chasing you out. So we're going to turn game mode back off. Now these zombies are smarter, 
than the zombies when I originally built this. <laughs> so they're not going to have as much trouble chasing me. So I'm going to run up here. And you see that fire at the end. That's what you're heading towards at the end of here as the zombies can still follow you up. That one, I think, lost interest because they're a little stupider now. But if there's a ton of them, you'll probably get some chasing you all the way up. But you head towards the light, head towards the fire. And we should be getting up here right at the end. And we got that beautiful sky and the moon. And we head over here, and this is the end of the map. Now there's a final chest here, which contains an apple and eight of these golden nuggets. Now if you've played Minecraft, you might probably know this, but this is probably something not too many people get to craft. If you put the nuggets around this apple, there you go. You can craft a golden apple. Now the ending here is meant to be that if you tried to get the golden apples originally at the tower, just by saying yes and getting them given to you, they weren't earned and they weren't as meaningful. But because you went through the trial and found your way all the way here, you have this magical golden apple that you've earned by going through this trial. I've got a little armor on still from my other video. But yeah, so we're going to fly, just do one last fly over the statue as we go through here. Let's see this. You can see the whole path underground led all the way over here. But that's pretty much it for the Tower of Enlightenment. It was a bit of a mini adventure map, just because I wanted to see if Zach on uh, the Scotland server could go through and prevail. Uh, look, if you leave the switch up, you can see his mouth has been left open. But if I close that, he should shoot out some more apples. And uh, there you go. But yeah, that was basically the intention, just to try to see if I could build a map that had a lot of danger in it, but also had a lot of misdirection. So the emphasis on the map is bravery and just kind of going through and trying to succeed on your own merit without having to, uh, you know, rely too much on anything but courage. So yeah, that's it. That was the Tower of Enlightenment map. If you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to leave a comment and tell me maybe any suggestions on what you think I could add to it. Uh, I want to keep it fairly short, but there any other traps and different stuff some cool ideas let me know and leave a, uh, a rating if you if you feel like it and everything i very much appreciate it so this has been adam aka swimming bird and i hope you enjoyed this little adventure map that i built goodbye guys